Hello YouTubers, fellow hams and Linux enthusiasts. So today I want to talk about a little trick for executing shell commands when you log in. And I'm going to show you why I had to do this myself. Now what I have here is a fresh install of Ubuntu Mate 19.10. Now I use Ubuntu Mate, M-A-T-E, that's the Mate desktop. That's this desktop that you're looking at here. Uh, by default, it usually has a menu bar here at the top and another bar at the bottom, but I usually customize mine and get rid of the bar at the bottom. They co they're called panels, and you can, you can change all kinds of stuff about them. Uh, it's real similar in function to, say, Windows XP or Windows 7. Of course, then the menu bar would be at the bottom of the screen. Hey, we can change that. Look at this. Uh, we'll we'll right-click on the menu bar or the panel, and we'll hit Properties. And orientation right here, we'll put that to bottom, close, and there we go. Now it's uh, more similar to what you're used to seeing with, say, Windows XP or Windows 7, where you had the start menu down here. I like the Ubuntu Mate desktop uh, for people that are coming from Windows uh, XP or 7 because it's easy for them to, uh, to just get right in with. It's similar to what they're used to seeing. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about executing scripts uh, at login. And the reason that I wanted to do that is, uh, well, let me show you. We'll open the file explorer here, and then we'll go and we'll look at the root file system, the root of the hard drive, and slash, hey, we're looking at the root. And uh, one of the files that are down here, folders, is one called temp, T-M-P. Now, this is a folder that is for temporary files that don't need to be retained, uh, sort of a scratch pad area that the operating system uses, and you can see it's created these various things in here. Um, it's just an area where the operating system can create a file for some temporary need. For example, when you uh, copy something to the clipboard, the file, the data is written here in a file that's temporary. Uh, I used this folder for a few years uh, for my own temporary stuff. The, the, the reason being, this folder is emptied out every time that you boot up the computer. And uh, if I was going to download a program that I wanted to look at but I didn't need to keep the files, or if I was going to save an image off of the web that I needed to work on for some graphics, I would put them here. Um, that way I don't clutter up my downloads directory and I know that it's getting erased every time I boot the computer. Well, this is bad practice. Um, I need to stop doing that. And actually, I also ran into a problem with the new Chromium browser where I couldn't access the folder anymore. So I, that kind of prompted me to do this. But it's really bad practice. Out here in the root of the file system, you don't want to you don't want to mess with this. You don't want to create folders here. You don't want to create files here. Um, you really want to keep everything in your home directory. If we go and we look in this home folder, you'll see that I have a. a a directory here that's the same name as my username on this particular machine it's just Kevin and inside of there is where all of my stuff is my desktop documents downloads you know everything that's related to my user account and you really want to keep everything in your home folder uh, it's just neat and tidy it makes it easy to back up your stuff you've only got one folder to deal with you don't have to go hunting for stuff on the hard drive everything is within your home folder so what I really need to do is create a temp folder in here, which I've already done. You can see it right here, TMP. And that's where I'm going to use, um, or that's where I'm going to put my temporary stuff from now on. But I want that automatically emptied out every time I log into the computer. And that's where we're going to talk about running scripts when you log in. Now, there's already a facility to do that, uh, and it's called the file is called dot profile we can't see it here because it starts with a dot and anything that's name starts with a dot is a hidden file so the, the system normally doesn't show it to you if we go up here and we under view select show hidden files now we'll see that a bunch of stuff that's that names that, whose names start with a dot suddenly appeared these are all configuration folders and other information that programs need to operate and uh, they're normally hidden so that your home folder isn't all cluttered up. 
Well, one of these files is right here. It's called .profile. If your flavor of Linux didn't create it by default, you can make it um, simply enough. Just right click in the white space in your home folder and select create document, empty file. That'll create a file, name it .profile, lowercase, and that is a file that will be executed every time you log in. Let's look at this file and see what's inside of it. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to uh, select open with other application and I'm going to use an editor to open it. Pluma is the default editor under Ubuntu. It's just a text editor. We'll open that. And here's the contents of .profile. And it's a few things that have to take place when you log in. And they tell you right up here what the program, what this file is. Most of these files will have this little header in them that uh, they kindly put in there to, to explain to you what you're seeing. Uh, executed by the command interpreter for login shells. So every time I log in, the commands that are in this file get executed. So I'm going to add a command to the end of it. Put a couple of spaces in there. Let's move this up a little bit. Um, and I'm going to com I'm going to put a comment in here so that for future reference, if I come back to this years from now, I can I can know what I was doing. You put a hash or the little tic tac toe symbol. That's a comment. Um, remove contents of home temp folder. And then I need to put in the command. And the command I'm going to use is rm, which stands for remove. It's the same as delete. And I'm going to put the dangerous option on here, dash capital R. That tells remove to remove all subfolders and files in the path that I'm going to give it. So that's why it's dangerous. <laughs> and I'm going to give it the full path, slash home, slash my user directory. In this case, it's Kevin, slash TMP. That's the folder. And then I'm going to put a slash and an asterisk, a wildcard. So what this command is, is saying is remove absolutely everything, that's what that minus R means, within slash home slash Kevin slash temp. And the wildcard means everything. Be very careful with this command. Uh, make sure that this is absolutely correct, this path. Because this command, rm-r, doesn't care. It's going to remove everything. If I didn't put the uh, slash temp on there, that would delete my entire home directory. So you want to make absolutely certain that this is syntactically correct. T, oops, mp, slash star. So every time I log in, when this script gets executed, that command should clear out my temp folder. So dot profile is very handy. Um, if you have anything else that you need to do every time you log in, maybe you're automatically backing up a project folder to another drive. Um, maybe you're automatically backing up your home folder to another drive with rsync. You could put those commands in here and every time you log in, they'll execute. So I'll save this and uh, we should be ready to go. If your version of Linux doesn't have the .profile file there, as I said, you can create it. You may or may not need to make it executable. Uh, I think you don't need to, but I do just in case. Um, I, it might be all right, but I come in here to permissions and I, I select this allow executing file as program. That just tells the OS that that just tells the OS that this is a script that needs to be executed. I think the OS the boot up system automatically parses it for you and you don't have to do this. I just do it as a matter of practice. The only downside to doing this is that uh, I can't just double click on the file to open it in an editor. I have to right click on it and say it open it in an editor. But that's minor. I usually work in the shell anyway. All right, I'm blabbing. Let's get back to business. All right, so I've modified dot profile. I've added my command. I have created my temp folder here. Let's put some junk in there. We'll create a folder. Blah. And we'll create an empty document. Blah.txt. Oh, I forgot something. This is important. Oh, this is important. If there's nothing in here, that command is going to throw an error and probably uh, cause us a 
cause us trouble. If this folder is already empty when I log in, um, let's go back and look at that again. Dot profile open. Oops, no, I want to open it with other application. Pluma. Yeah, somebody out there is yelling at me right now. If you don't make it executable, you won't have to do that. Probably true. I'm just trying to be certain. Okay, so the problem is this command will fail if that directory is already empty. So if I didn't put anything in there, the next time I log in, it's going to pop up an error. So what I should probably do is I'll insert another line here above. And I'll create a file in there before I remove files. Just in case it's empty, we'll make sure it's not empty before we remove those. So I can use the command touch. Touch creates a file. Slash home slash Kevin slash TMP slash nothing dot text there. Okay, this should be bulletproof now. So it's going to create a file inside of there and then it's going to remove everything in there. So that'll prevent this command from throwing an error. And I should have said that first. Anyway, heh, you know, that's how it goes. All right, I'll save that. And we've got stuff in there. Temp. Yep, we got stuff in there. Let's log out and log back in and see if it works. I'll click the little exit here. I'll log out. There we go. And I'll log back in. Now, hopefully that script has just run and has deleted the contents of that folder. Let's go take a look. Inside a temp, nothing. Hey, now I've got my scratch pad space that I can dump stuff and and I know that every time I log in, it'll be cleared out. So there you go. Uh, dot profile is the script that executes every time you log in. And if you have anything you need to do every time you log in, that's where you can put it. I hope you found that useful and informative, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.